Good evening. I'm going to talk to the ladies in waiting tonight and the importance of paying attention to your dreams. And then also, if you're um, in a close relationship with the Lord, um, pay attention to the writings and the things that he reveals to you. Put it in writing so you can go back and, and relook at them. And he will give you instruction, too, on things you need to be doing. But um, what I was going to share with you also is um, if you have a dream and you're not sure of the interpretation of it, um, you know, you can pray to God that he would reveal his interpretation of that dream. And um, it's just pretty cool. So, um, so the dream that I had actually that I need to reveal to you that God has like put nudges on my heart um, the last few days to maybe in the last month that I needed to, um, I was thinking about revealing this dream. So what happened was, um, I was going through a divorce at the time and my child was young and I had this dream and I was trying to decide before that dream, you know, if I should try to work things out with my husband or, um, you know, split up with him. And I had this dream and it was my dreams you know, a lot of times are so real. It's like watching a movie and it's in color and, and I wake up and, you know, sometimes, you know, um, depending on the dream, I think that it actually happened, you know, but it didn't, of course, you know, I get my mind straight, you know, but anyway, um, what I was going to share with you is this dream in particular was with my then, um, separated husband and, the divorce papers had already been filed and I was um, we were driving and we come across this yard sale and it was like a really nice yard sale I don't know if it was like a living estate sale because the owners were you know living there and um, it went into the house and at the time I was we went into the house and um, my now X um, was talking with the um, owner of the house and trying to make some deal. I don't remember exactly if he was, seemed like he was trying to buy something for a lot less money or barter or try to come back and do some business deal with, with the owner of the house. And it was a woman. And I was just feeling like, gosh, I just want to crawl under the chair or go leave. I want to escape this place. I was just so embarrassed and, um, overwhelmed with, you know, how he was acting. So, um, what I was going to share is that all of a sudden in the room, it's like things changed. Like we had been there for hours, you know, and people were mingling and eating. It was like family and friends of the owners were there. And then we end up you know, I see people getting drinks and then all of a sudden there's some music and dancing going on. And all of a sudden I'm dancing with my, my husband at the time. And in the dream, I was just dancing. I was like, man, you know, I just want to be out of here. And, um, all of a sudden somebody else, a man, another man cut in and started dancing with me. And I just felt such a peace about this man. I, you know, I, I felt secure and I, we were started spinning in circle, you know, turning in circles as we're dancing. And, um, I just put my head on his shoulder and I just felt at peace and secure, you know, like, like I wasn't there, you know, like I wasn't in that location, that space, you know, and then all of a sudden, um, we start spinning like spinning like rapidly and all of a sudden we lift out up out of the house our, our beings our bodies are, are lifted out of the house through the top of the roof and then we end up the next scene is we're in like outer space on a planet or on the moon I'm not sure which um, and you could see like a Okay, so then there was like this transformation because all of a sudden I'm seeing, but I'm seeing that we're, that we're horses, we're like white horses. And um, the, the male was like a thoroughbred, you know, um, and he was like on the edge of the, of the 
earth or the moon the moon or the planet and you could just see the the light from the stars you know was reflecting and you could see the silhouette of the um horse and it could have been like a stallion you know he's thinking it was a stallion in the dream and then i look over and there's a colt and it's a white colt and then myself i was a horse too and um i'm white and it was just so cool because I felt such a peace and security, you know, that we were taken out of that place. And even though we're transformed into horses, I was fine with that. And that my daughter was there and she laid down and we would lay down, the horses laid down. And, you know, how the horses, um, the babies will tuck in next to the body of the um, other horse. Anyway, that's what was going on. And then this stallion or thoroughbred was on the edge and it was like he was just watching over us and protecting us and he had taken us out of that environment to protect us and so it was just really cool so then what happened years later after that um you know I went through a lot of different things um being a single mom and um too much for me to go into but what I want to share with you is that I was waiting, a lady awaiting at that time as a single mom, and I wanted to find the right person, you know, to be a good father to my daughter and to to um, um, be married to. And I wanted to find a true believer, a man who truly loves the Lord and has a relationship with the Lord. And I was just praying about it a lot, and I had a lot of different men that were interested in me at the time because I was younger of course you know um, and it's people from church people from work and um, one guy that I would sit with at church for like two years but he never asked me out um, my um, friend a good friend of mine she she said that his name was parking lot Dave because he didn't have to ask me out because we just talk in the parking lot for an hour or two after church and so um, she was so right about that. But anyway, it was sometime after that, um, just the things that I went through. Um, I ended up meeting two guys, the same name. And then the third guy that I met, it, he had the same name. So I was just thinking, oh, wow, that's like um, three the three names, you know, three's the charm, you know. And so... Um, I met him at church and I thought that maybe he was he was it his dad was a pastor um, you know I met him at church he was in a bad situation like coming out of a um, just a lot of things that were not going right for him and a lot of things weren't going right for me and um, he said that he was you know had drawn close to the Lord and so was I and so I thought it was right but it wasn't right and um, so what I was going to explain to you is that now here, many years later, um, we are now divorced, the second marriage, divorced. And I realized that um, through my prayer writing journals, God has revealed to me who my true love is now in December 2018. And it happens to be my first love from high school. And... God revealed to me he's my true knight and he's my true love and that he is, you know, going to be bringing him back into my life after his love is secured with him, with, with God. And then God will restore my true love's love to me. But what's interesting about the whole thing is just before I met my second husband, I had gone out with him, and actually before that, um, him and his dad actually weed eated the whole backyard of our place, of my place that I was at, and um, it was a lot of work. I mean, these this grass and weeds had grown like over the fence; they were so tall. But I just physically couldn't do it, and I didn't know, you know, have the equipment to do it. And so I was so happy that they did that. And then it was sometime after that we went out. And it was him and his son, who was a few years older than my daughter, and um, and my daughter. We we um, went out, 
And we came back and we, um, it was late, so I didn't invite him in and he didn't ask to come in. And then he had called me to talk, talk on the phone, you know, after that. And I was thinking that, you know, we would get back together too. But then we talked on the phone and I remember feeling like I wish I wanted him, I wanted to say to him, just come on over, you know, I'd rather talk to you in person than on the phone. And then we got in a conversation about love and, and hurt heartaches, you know, from relationships. And, and I happened to talk about a guy I dated like a few years before, not the, not parking lot Dave, but another guy. And, um, how, you know, we split up and, and I didn't realize it, that I had fallen in love with the guy. So I still had feelings for this guy and it'd been like two years later, you know? And, um, so then what happened was, um, he, he was hurt that I was still having feelings for some guy from two years ago. And so he quit calling me and we quit dating and we didn't go out anymore and we didn't talk about it. And so then I meet, you know, number three guy of the three names and the circumstances seemed right, you know, so I thought he was it. So then what happened was, um, I went to tell my true love that, um, uh, you know, I didn't know again that he was the one I was supposed to marry at the time. And, um, I mean, I felt like, you know, I should call him up and, and, and talk to him about us getting back together. But then I met this guy and, and so basically what I want to share with you is that pay attention to your dreams because in the dream, I thought when I met this second husband that he was like the white stallion, you know, that God had brought into my life to rescue me from that, you know, past relationship and to be my knight in shining armor, so to speak. And it wasn't him at all. And it was actually my true love that God revealed to me in 2018. But I was right there with him, you know, um, years prior. And it was like he was my God sent. But the enemy recognizes, you know, when we're about to meet our the one God has purpose for us. And he will send counterfeits left and right. And there was a lot of guys that, like I said, that I was... Um, that were interested in me, but I wasn't interested in them. And, and I wanted to find the right person to marry. And so it just so happens, you know, Satan slips in this person. So I'm picturing this, um, this picture here because, you know, there was my daughter and I, I would say, um, to the right right here. And then, um, my true love and his son here to the left. And this, um, black stallion was the counterfeit. It was, um, it wasn't God's plan. It was the enemy's plan to, you know, keep us separated from each other and to try to destroy our lives. And there's so much that's happened. Um, I won't go into all the details, but I just want to say that, you know, really pay attention to your dreams because, you know, here I went through a long marriage and it wasn't the right person and we're getting along fine and we can communicate and you know we're considered I guess friends you know because um, she's my daughter's been raised by him and it's like um, he was a good provider you know but there was a lot of difficulties in our marriage and we just had a lot of problems and we just didn't get along because you know he really didn't have a relationship with the Lord after all um, he tried but he, he, he just couldn't connect with God and in mind and heart and soul. So anyway, God, um, made a way for us to separate because he didn't intend us to be together in the first place. So anyway, I just want to reveal that to you. And, um, it was just interesting too, before I met, um, the second husband, I had in my heart, like God had put in my heart, like I was going to be married that year by September. I just knew it like beyond a shadow of a doubt. And then here comes a counterfeit, you know, um, that slips in there and detours me from what God had planned in my life. And I have so many regrets for that, you know, for the loss of my true love, the years that we had lost together and for our children, 
you know, to be a part of our, our lives together as a family. And, um, but God is restoring that. And I just needed to share that with you. Um, God bless. And, um, sorry, it maybe is a little lengthy, but pay attention to your dreams and draw close to God because he will direct you to his best. And then you will not have to settle for, and little do you know, you're destroying your life and the life of another person because you both need to hold out for God's best for your lives individually. Okay, take care and love you guys. Okay, okay, bye.